Swinging the weight of the club, it's something that the professional golfer does oh so well. They use the golf club effectively, how it is designed to create the most amount of speed. If you feel like you're putting a lot of effort into your swing and you're not getting much out of it, well, stay tuned. This video is really gonna help. Let's get stuck in. Thanks for tuning in guys, Kerry Gray here in the studio today at Junilat Resort. In this video, we're talking all about swinging the weight of the club head, allowing that club head to release. There's a whole bunch of smart guys sitting in a room trying to make this game as easy as they possibly can for us. And most players are fighting that. They're trying to work way too hard to hit that golf ball. They feel like they're putting a lot of effort into their shots and they're not really getting much reward for doing so. But before we get into it, please go down below, click subscribe, click that bell if you haven't already, just so you get notified of every single video I release. And if you're looking for something a little bit more personalized, well then head over to kggolf.com. I can do online swing analysis, compare your swing to a pro, draw some lines over it, and then also stand in front of the camera just like this, giving you personally prescribed drills and exercises and also, if you're looking for something even more comprehensive, well, I do have an online video library there with over 200 premium videos previously unreleased here on YouTube that you can check out. But on to today's session, we are talking all about improving your ability to swing the weight of the golf club and getting an understanding of what that even is. What is one of the biggest challenges and one of the most common moves that we see with the recreational golfer from the top of the swing, well, without a doubt, it's as they get to the top, they keep their arms up, they turn their upper body aggressively down towards the ball. This first movement down towards the golf ball is an aggressive rotation of the upper body. As soon as you do so, well, generally what we see is the golf club will get thrown over the top, the golf club shaft gets steep. As a result of getting into this position, the body will then stand up, the face will open, and a slew of ball striking errors will ensue. So if this sounds like you, you film, you swing, your buddies have said, it looks like you're chopping wood, you're swinging over the top, well, this video is really, really gonna help you improve the quality of your ball striking. And it is all about learning how to swing and use the weight of the golf club. And I've got two great drills to assist you in doing so. So having an understanding, first of all, of how this golf club is designed to be used is incredibly important. We have a weighted object here. There's a head, there's a shaft, and there's a grip. And effectively, this weighted object, very similar to a hammer, creates the speed and power required to send that ball as far as we possibly can. With a very minimal effort, this ball can shoot off a long way. That was just a one-handed flick, and that's nearly gone nearly 100 meters just from rolling up there. So. Learning how to swing the weight of the golf club is hugely beneficial if you're looking to get a little bit more efficiency and speed out of your golf swing without applying as much effort. And what we see, as I was describing before from the top of the swing, is a lot of players had this big old aggressive move with their upper body down towards the ball, just causing so much inconsistency as they get to the moment of impact. So if this is sounding like you, here is the first drill I want you to practice. It's simple as this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do some one-handed swings. You're gonna set up with your normal stance. We're gonna start off with our backhand Hand, so the right hand for the right hander. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna grip the golf club, very similar to how you would a hammer. If it feels awkward, well, there's a good chance you're gripping it too much in the palm. So change it around. Don't think about it like a golf club and just bang it up and down like a hammer, feeling like you're getting the full range of motion from the wrist. Once you've done so, what I want you to do is don't be afraid to bend this arm, bend this wrist. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the understanding that this golf club needs to move in a range of motion from hip high to hip high. Now, as you can see, my elbow itself is not moving very far back and through. Effectively, what's happening is there is a rotation of the arm. There is almost a bicep curl motion, a hinging of the wrist that allows us to create this leverage and speed on both sides with very minimal effort. Most players are trying to bang a nail into a piece of wood like this. There's too much tension. They're not using their wrist correctly. They're not allowing that club to release. So this is the first exercise. We're just getting these little one-handed swings back and through. That feels really nice, creating some control and some consistency. Now, if you're a player who is under the assumption that the club face needs to stay facing the target all the time, well, the golf club is not designed to do this. You can see it is built to rotate around its axis around the shaft here, and that creates the release. If you think about it in terms of baseball, if there was a flat edge on a baseball bat, well, you wouldn't get your arms going through the ball like that because it's gonna not create any speed. You need that baseball turning down. You need that tennis racket turning down. You need the golf club turning down as well. So we're allowing this wrist 
to get some mobility back and through. You can see the travel of the club head. It's moving a considerable distance relative to how much I'm actually swinging my arm and my body. Once you've done that, flip it around, grab your left hand. Let's do the same thing, back and forth. I'm feeling that my wrist is rotating up, it's rotating down. I'm feeling that the face is opening and closing. Now, yes, in reality, the professional golfer, as they come through into impact, there isn't as much release as this, only visually. Because what happens is as the body is rotating, that offsets how quickly that face is flipping over. But if they were to not to turn, let's say their body for the professional golfer wasn't to move, it would look like this. A huge flicking and release of the golf club. That is how you create speed. You don't create speed by trying to push this golf club out towards the target. Very important to remember that. So once we've created that single-handed feeling where we're allowing our arm and our wrist to bend, the face to move open and closed, well, from there, we're gonna give you the ultimate drill to get the feeling of swinging the weight of the club, and that is to hit shots with your feet together. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put my feet on either side of this little stick as a reference, gonna put a ball at the end of that stick. Now, your objective from this position, very simply put, is to hit these shots without losing your balance, your feet have got to stay on the ground. Now, very often when I give players this, as they go back, they'll tend to fall over in the follow through. Their right leg will kick out, the old disco dive move. And then from there, what happens is that just means that you've tried to start that downswing with your body. The sequence between your body, the arms and the club is not quite what it should be. And we certainly don't want that. So we're gonna get our feet together on either side of this stick. You don't need the stick. This is just a reference for the ball position. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit a small shot, keeping our balance. Okay, well, from doing that, you can see my feet stayed in the ground. That golf club had a beautiful whipping sensation. And that ball, guys, that's traveled, that's about 120 meters, just with a little flick of the wrists. Now, like I said, the release is not this active in a professional swing because it's getting offset with the rotation. However, if you're a player who's been pushing this golf club through the ball, you haven't been letting the weight of the club swing, this is the exercise that you need to do. Once you've done that, then your objective is to pick up swing length. Feet together, make sure your arms are nice and relaxed when you do this. A little bit of a waggle, like you see the pros, secure hold, let's go. Feet together, that ball has sailed off. Nice little drawer as well, I'm feeling nice and balanced. That flew nearly 150 meters, and I just got a seven iron here as well. So two great drills for you to work on to help you get a better understanding of how to release the golf club, getting that right hand working back and through, getting the left hand working back and through. One-handed drills are great because you don't have the power and the force and the strength to push it through like you would in a normal swing. It also helps just bring awareness to the club head and getting the weight and feeling of that club head swinging back and through is what you need to increase your ability to create that effortless speed that you might be missing. Now, once you've done that, put your feet together, hit some shots, get the feeling of swinging the weight of the club without losing your balance. It's one of the most famous old school, but also new school drills that gives you a better awareness of what it's like to use the golf club, how it's designed to be used rather than trying to force it around your body. So if you're slicing it, you're topping it, you're fatting it, this is certainly a one size fits all drill for a lot of players that can really help you with your understanding of how to create an efficient speed and powerful motion throughout the golf swing. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions at all, please let me know. But until next time, I'm Kara Gray. Thanks for watching.